everybody, welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have my Royal Rumble 2020 predictions video for you guys. Eight matches on this card, very excited. You know, there could actually be some announced tonight on Friday Night SmackDown, but I'm not worrying about that shit. We already got eight. We got the Men's Rumble. We got the Women's Rumble, and that's really all that matters anyway, right? The Brock Lesnar, the Brock Lesnar, the Beast Incarnate, is entering the Royal Rumble at number one. Can he outlast them all? Will he get eliminated by Cain Velasquez or some dumbass shit like that? Who the hell knows, Brad? We're going to dive into it. The, Ro the Royal Rumble is my favorite pay-per-view of the year. I'm super excited for it. I feel like it's very unpredictable this year. I feel like there's so many different angles they can go. We're going to discuss all of them. There could be some epic surprises in this Royal Rumble, which we're also going to discuss. We're going to run through it all, guys, but right now, we're going to run into the card. Let's go ahead and break down every single matchup. I'm going to give you my thoughts and predictions for every single match at Royal Rumble 2020. I'm hyped for it. Let's shut the hell up and run it. All right, guys, so we might as well start things off with a match that's most likely going to be on the pre-show, right? We have Sheamus going one-on-one -on -one with Chad Gable or Shorty G, whatever the hell you want to call him here. You know, I really do not give a damn about this match. I really do not care. You know, I like both guys. I just hate they're in this position. I just don't understand it. I, I swear to God, I bet Sheamus wins, and then Sheamus is going to be a part of the Royal Rumble, and then Chad Gable is going to, like, sneak out there and eliminate him for the Royal Rumble. I swear to God I can see that happening. I'm going to go with Sheamus for the win. I know why they're fighting and everything, and it's kind of just building up this heel character of Sheamus I do believe over Shorty G but I really just don't care it's it's really unfortunate uh, that these guys even have to put on this match here but I'm gonna go with Sheamus to pick up the dub and it could it very well could be a you know a, a squash match uh, I, I would love to see Shorty G pick up the win but I doubt it's gonna happen I'm going with Sheamus over Chad Gable Next up, guys, we have the United States Championship match between Andrade C and Almas taking on Humberto Carrero. And I think this matchup is going to be great. I really do think that they're going to tear the house down here at the Royal Rumble. You know, both of these guys in the ring is just magic, and especially together here at the Royal Rumble in a big four pay-per-view. I do expect them to do some good work. I do fully expect this match to be on the pre-show right behind Sheamus and Shorty G, but I really do not know exactly where this card or where this match will be placed upon the card, but I do think it will be on the pre-show. Um, you know, Andrade just really got the championship. You know, I really want to see him retain here. And Humberto, how many effing U.S. title matches has this man had? You know, it is what it is. He's good in the ring. I'm not a fan of his character, so I am Andrade seeing almost all the freaking way. Give me Andrade seeing almost to retain here and probably a pretty banger of a match. So I'm pretty excited for this one, guys. We're going with Andrade seeing almost to retain his United States championship. Next up, guys, we do have the SmackDown Women's Championship match between Bayley and Lacey Evans. Now, Lacey Evans has gone after gold a lot of times. I feel like she's had so many Women's Championship matches, whether she's going for the Raw or the SmackDown or whatever. I feel like she's been in a lot of Women's Championship matches, and I feel like Bayley's toted the title for a while now. You know, I, I've said in every predictions video, Bayley needs to retain. I want her to have a good run, make her look strong. I've said that many, many times in a row. So, I don't know, man. This could be the time that Lacey Evans dethrones Bayley and and wins her first championship here with the SmackDown Women's Championship. Really tough call right here. I, I really am not a fan of Lacey Evans at all. If you guys are fans of the channel, you follow the channel, you know that she is probably, next to Nia Jax, probably my least favorite women's talent. Uh, but Jesus, man, this one's a pretty tough one. I'm going to go with Bayley, but I, for some reason, I expect Lacey Evans to win the championship right here, but I really want Bayley to retain, but I'm, I'm going to predict Bayley anyways, but I could see her losing her championship title here at the Royal Rumble 2020. Next up, guys, we have the other half of the women's championship matches. We have Becky Lynch taking on Asuka, two of my favorite women in all of WWE. These actually are the top two of my favorite women here going head-to-head. -head. Very excited for this one, a rematch from last year's Royal Rumble, and they're going to tear the house down. I think they're really going to have a great matchup. I think for some, I, I don't know, man, I see Becky Lynch retaining here. If, if everything goes right in my mind, fantasy booking it, you know, Asuka did beat her last year, so I think Becky is going to beat her here, retain her championship, and get her her win back over Asuka. Um, I really love Asuka, man. I, it's just a, you know, I don't want to get into all the details of it, but Asuka has just been, uh, I, I know she's been booked pretty good as the last few months, but, you know, when she first got caught up to the main roster and she had the undefeated streak and she lost to Charlotte, it, it would have been so much better if they just kept that thing going and built it up over time, but, you know, that's a, that's a whole other deal for a whole other day. Uh, but I'm going to go with Becky Lynch. I really think it's going to happen. I think it'd be epic to have her retain here over Asuka, but I just expect a banger, both ladies, to put on a show. You like women's wrestling. You want to see two women that bring that shit every time. This is the match you want to watch. I'm going with Becky Lynch to retain her championship. 
Next up, guys, we have the false Count Anywhere match between Roman Reigns and Trash King Corbin. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm freaking sick of this feud, man. I feel like they've been feuding forever. This is going to be the fourth or fifth or sixth match we've seen between these two guys in this feud right here. I could be wrong. It could be three. I feel like it's four or five, though, to be honest with you. But didn't we see them in a false Count Anywhere anyways? I mean, I, I don't know. I, I don't know, man. We've, we've seen this match so many times. Just have Roman Reigns win. Put Trash Corbin on the shelf, put him away, and just get him into something else and just get it away. Just get him away. I don't want these two to ever wrestle again. I just don't want to see it. But Roman Reigns should win here, and this feud should finally end. We're at a big four pay-per-view in this hoe here and then have their little rivalry continuing down the road, I guess. You know how they always do. They'll always cross paths again down the road. But Roman Reigns right here needs to win and send Trash Corbin off and get, it, get him the hell out. Trash Corbin loses. Roman Reigns goes over. I'm going with the big dog. Next up, guys, we have the Blue Universal Championship match between the Fiend Bray Wyatt taking on Daniel Bryan in a strap match. Now, I think this is where, you know, both men are, like, kind of handcuffed together and they only have a little bit of length apart. I actually like this idea for this stipulation with The Fiend because it's kind of like, you know, Daniel Bryan can't escape The Fiend. I think that's an excellent way to tie in The Fiend and, you know, running away from him and stuff like that. He can't back down. I think this matchup will be pretty good. You know, I, honestly, though, like, back at Hell in a Cell, they kind of ruined The Fiend for me, like, as far as competing in matches is concerned. I still think he looks badass and everything like that. I just hate the way they booked him in that match. They made him pretty much unstoppable and unbeatable. And there's really no way you can even combat that. There's no way to combat it. I, I really just, I don't know what it is. I, I like The Fiend as a character. I love Daniel Bryan right now. I think that this matchup is actually going to be good. But I wish they would have never booked that Hell in a Cell match the way they did. The way they tied it in and they made him look like fucking Michael Myers or Jason Voorhees. That shit was stupid. I did not agree with that. It was just a really stupid decision and some terrible creative right there. Uh, making that decision, but I'm going to go with The Fiend retaining just because Daniel Bryan's not going to have enough. Bray Wyatt is easily going to hold this thing until WrestleMania or even longer, so I am going with The Fiend Bray Wyatt to retain his Blue Universal title, but I think this will be a pretty good football game. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, it is the women's side of the Royal Rumble. Now, what's odd about this Royal Rumble, guys, is there are only five confirmed entrants in this thing. We have Charlotte, Alexa Bliss, Nikki Cross, Sarah Logan, and Natalya. I think that's absolutely nutty. I cannot believe that we only have five confirmed entrants. But I feel like with the women's Royal Rumble, I feel that it's pretty difficult to predict surprise entrants. So I'm going to do my best. I'm going to give you guys probably four surprise entrances that I think could happen. One of those is Shayna Baszler. I think Shayna Baszler will be in this Royal Rumble. And she could possibly win the damn thing. But I'm going to go with Shayna Baszler being a surprise entrant. I'm very uh, excited to see how this thing plays out. You know, last year it was very... I don't know. I felt like last year was better than the first year. The first year kind of felt like, I don't know, like kind of sluggish, people laying around, not doing too much, kind of difficult for the women to get over the ropes. I don't really understand why they don't just bring it, man. Bring your shit, man. Go hit that ass in the face and freaking bring it. That's the biggest thing with women's wrestling, man. You just want to you want to bring it so it looks because I, I don't know what it is. It just most of the time, if you don't have two women that know what they're doing in the ring, they really just look weak and they don't look like they're going hard, man. Hit the shit out of that lady. Throw her ass over the top rope and go hard man F your life you want to be like sasha over there throw your damn body everywhere but i'm gonna go ahead and get into some surprise interests that i think could take place right here guys and i don't recall this first one being on tv at all but i am going to go with naomi i don't remember if naomi's been on television she may have been on tv if she has then f me but you know what i'm gonna go with naomi you know if she has been on tv it hadn't been much or it hasn't been a big role and I'm going to go with Naomi because uh, I, I want her back, man. You know, she's she's been champion before, and it's kind of like she just fell off the side of the planet, never to be seen again. So I really would like to see her come back. Another one is Ruby Riot, guys. Returning from injury, I would love to see Ruby Riot, and I think we will get Ruby Riot in this Royal Rumble. So I really hope we get to see her show up on Sunday and make some freaking noise. So Ruby Riot's another surprise entrant. This one's another surprise entrant that I think could win the damn thing, and that is Nia Jax. Now, I'm not a Nia Jax fan. I think she's terrible. I think she's not good in the ring, um, but she did suffer like two blown out knees, which is absolutely horrible, but uh, hopefully, I, I bet she'll come back looking great. I bet she's going to lean up a little bit, get add some muscle, and uh, I think she's going to be a beast when she gets back. Hopefully, she's gotten a little bit better. I just couldn't stand her character. I, I, she 
she's definitely my least favorite women's talent, but we'll see how she does if she returns. We also have some uh, some legends. I think that uh, Lita could possibly, uh, I think Lita could possibly return. We could probably see some other, you know, legends return. Probably Trish, probably, you know, Mickey James, stuff like that. We're probably going to get some of those. I know Mickey hasn't fully walked away just yet, but uh, I think that's easily possible. I could easily see that happening. But now, guys, we're going to go with who I think is going to win the Royal Rumble. Who is going to win the Women's Royal Rumble? Well, Brad, I'm going to go out on a limb, and I'm going to say that number 30 is going to be none other than Rowdy motherfucking Ronda Rousey. Back from the grave, bitch. Haven't seen her in almost a year. WrestleMania 35. She's going to come out, kick everyone's ass, eliminate probably Shayna Baszler at the end or Nia Jax at the end, and Ronda Rousey is going to be the winner of the Women's Royal Rumble for 2020. She's going to go into WrestleMania and kick Becky Lynch's ass and win the Raw, tag, or the Raw Women's Championship back. That's my prediction for the Women's Royal Rumble. If anything other than that happens... Total just embarrassment. Not really, but seriously, I, I want Ronda Rousey to come back. I'm excited for her to be back. She she brought such legitimacy to the to the division, and she was a beast, man. I, I can't wait for her to return. Please return to the Rumble. I'm picking Rowdy Ronda Rousey for the win in the Women's Royal Rumble. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, our main event of the evening, the 30-man Royal Rumble, my favorite match of the entire year. If you're wondering why I got all these men lined up already, guys, because this is every confirmed entrant for the Royal Rumble this far. I think there are 22 confirmed entrants. There probably could be some more confirmed tomorrow night, which is unfortunate. You know, I like it when we don't know who's going to come out. You know, usually we know a few of them, but this year it just feels like we know probably a little bit more. But I'm excited for the surprise entrants because anything could happen. There's so many that it could be, and I'm, I'm hyped, man. Like, I, oh, my God. I know not all of them are going to be surprise entrances. Obviously, it never is. We're going to have some bullshit comedy spots. We're going to have some shit that's just dumb. Like, Otis and Tucker take up two of the spots in this rumble so it's like Jesus Christ but you know one thing I was looking at guys if you look at all these wrestlers individually this is a pretty stacked ass rumble as it is I mean Brock Lesnar coming out number one we have just so much talent but I'm going to run through the confirmed entrance real quick and then I'm going to get into my predictions for this thing and also tell you who I think is going to be a surprise entrant and, and you can't forget about Cain Velasquez in here as well but let's just go ahead and dive into the confirmed entrance Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar, AJ Styles, Eric Rowan, Randy Orton, Rey Mysterio, Ricochet, Drew McIntyre, Elias, King Corbin, Trash, Dolph Ziggler, Otis, Tucker, Rusev, Bobby Trashley, Aleister Black, Buddy Murphy, Braun Strowman, Shinsuke Nakamura, Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens, Samoa Joe, Kofi Kingston, Big E, and R-Truth. Now, one guy that is not in there is Cain Velasquez. I'm pretty sure he already announced that he's entering the Royal Rumble, so there that is right there. But uh, we have maybe seven or eight spots, maybe a few less, that are going to be surprise entrances in this thing, and I am going to run through my surprise entrances before I give you my pick to win this thing. So let's go ahead and dive into that first. Before we get into these surprise entrances, guys, just remember that these are all my potential ones. Now, I think these are going to be potential surprises, so let's go ahead and dive in. The first one, guys, is going to be Jeff Hardy. Now, Jeff Hardy has been on the shelf for so freaking long, man. I really want him to return at the Rumble. This is a guy that I really, really desperately want to see enter this year's Rumble. So if they could give me Jeff Hardy, that would be excellent. I'd be crapping my pants. I'm totally going to mark out if Jeff Hardy comes out. So I think Jeff Hardy is going to be a surprise entry. Please give it to us, man. Just, just please give it to us. Next up, guys, we do have some NXT talent. I think that the NXT champion Adam Cole is going to show up in the Royal Rumble. You know, he did show up two years ago. He didn't show up last year. We got Pete Dunne. We got Johnny Gargano and things like that. This year, guys, I think that we're going to get Adam Cole possibly again. So I think that he is a potential surprise entrant as well. Another potential surprise entrant in this year's Royal Rumble, guys. He's been on the shelf a while. I'm going with the Velveteen Dream. Now, again, I don't think we're going to get all of these surprise entrances. I'm just giving you some guys that I think are on the bubble right here. I do think we'll get Jeff Hardy, but uh, I don't think we'll get both of these guys. It'll probably be one or the other, but uh, Velveteen Dream is definitely on there. He's been on the shelf a while and stuff like that. Another NXT talent that could possibly pop up, guys, and hopefully I would love to see him at number two. We have Matthew Riddle. We have Matt Riddle coming up. We could have Matt Riddle come out at number two, stare down with Brock Lesnar, possibly, but, you know, that's just fantasy booking. Who the hell knows? I think it is possible we see Matt Riddle, but who knows? We're going to have to find out, uh, but I think he is a potential surprise entrant this year. Continuing on with our surprise entrances, guys, we have another one, and it is the Prince. We have Finn Balor. Finn Balor, another guy. I love Finn Balor. I would love to see him enter the Royal Rumble. Um, he put this thing on Twitter where he talked about 
Uh, he was talking to Kurt Elkins on Twitter, and he said, see you Sunday. And in the C, the second E of it was the number three. So is he going to be the number three entrant? Is it, you know, a possible little Easter egg fart in a bag right there? Who freaking knows right there on Twitter? We're going to have to find out on Sunday. But Finn Balor coming out would be excellent. Give him the Iron Man spot. Maybe maybe do something sick setting up a WrestleMania match. Who the hell knows? I do know that him and uh, Adam Cole do have matches on Saturday in the UK. So are they going to have to fly back over to Houston for the Royal Rumble? I could see it happening. And the last potential surprise entrant for NXT, guys, is going to be the brand new North American champion. I'm going with Keith Lee Baskin, his freaking glory, baby. I think that we could see Keith Lee. So all of these guys obviously are not going to show up. Um, if I had to pick two or three, I would probably go Hardy, Dream, and Balor. I really want to see Hardy and Balor. Those are my two, you know, most wanted. And then I could probably see, I, I really, really think it would be awesome to see Matt Riddle come out. But I'm going to go Hardy and Balor and Dream as my, you know, concrete. But then we have our two huge surprise interests that could take place. And that is obviously, you know, I'm just going to plug it in the video, you know, because it's a wonder. But just so, you know, on record, I am saying it. But one of these men could possibly show up at the number 30 spot. You know, you never know. I know CM Punk. I know it's bullshit every year. Everybody always talks about it. And then, you know, but this year there's actually legitimate chance and then edge has been in the rumors for months coming back and you know that happened kind of with the hardys a little bit when they returned at wrestlemania so who the hell knows man i, I mean it could literally it could literally be whatever but if one of these two showed up at number 30 i'd mark the hell out i just hope they don't save number 30 for like kane velasquez or something i hope we get some big pops and i hope we get some cool surprises man i, I just really want to see some surprises in this rumble this rumble's already stacked so please give us some more surprises and stuff like that but uh as far as who I think is going to win this thing, I think it comes down to a few guys. Um, I think Roman Reigns has a legitimate chance. I think Roman Reigns could easily win this thing. I think that Kevin Owens could possibly win this thing as well. And then a third entry that I think could win is Drew McIntyre. Now, I don't know why I feel like Drew McIntyre is just not going to win. I feel like we say this every year that he's going to win the big one. He's going to be a champion. He's going to be this. He's going to be that. But it never happens. Oh, man. I think for that reason, I'm not going to go Drew McIntyre. And I, I I feel like I want to go Roman Reigns or Kevin Owens. But I feel like the the freaking, uh, I don't know. I just don't see them giving it to Roman Reigns now. I, I think I'm going to go with my boy Kevin Owens unless some sick-ass surprise happens where CM Punk or Edge comes out. Then I think one of those two guys could win. I'm going to go Kevin Owens. I'm going to bet on my boy Kevin Owens. I love him to death. I'm betting on my man to win that thing. I'm going Kevin Owens, my official pick for the 2020 Royal Rumble. Hopefully that happens, but... Uh Yes, guys, that is going to do it for my Royal Rumble 2020 predictions. I just want a good-ass show. I just want a good-ass Royal Rumble, man. That's all I can really ask for. Uh, Edge or CM Punk at 30, I don't think we'll get both. Um, I felt like Edge is way more realistic, but I wanted to plug Punk just for the hell of it. I think we're going to get some NXT talent, and I think we do get a returning Jeff Hardy. I probably missed out on a couple of surprise entrances that could take place at the Rumble. If I did, guys, please let me know down in the comment section below. Again, we're not going to get all these guys. We probably will only get one or two of them, but I wanted to put them in there anyway just to give you guys a heads up and think about some things. But Kevin Owens is going to win the Royal Rumble, going with it right here. And I think I predicted it three years straight. I predicted Randy Orton. I predicted Shinsuke Nakamura. I predicted Seth Rollins. So this could be the quad right here. We can get Kevin Owens. Who the hell knows, Brad? That's going to do it for my Royal Rumble 2020 predictions. Guys, thank you so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my name, Toys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. All right, guys, one thing I forgot to plug in. Uh, I think that Cain Velasquez is going to uh, eliminate Brock Lesnar. I think that's going to happen, and that's going to set up their match. Maybe it's for the title at Mania. Maybe it's not. But I'm going to go Cain Velasquez to eliminate Brock Lesnar in the Royal Rumble. All right, thanks. Bye.